Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome to season three, episode 29 of Fabrically Speaking Live. I'm your host, Claire Rowley, and today I'm going to show you how to put a large piping around a pillow using this project that I already have ready. And so this should go really smoothly today. Hello, Carlene and Amy, better days, Tina, Madeline, and I'll try to keep up as you guys pop in. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And so this is something that I've been wanting to teach for a long time and I just, we had a bunch of items come in that were on back order so I spent a whole lot of time filling orders. So if you've been waiting for stuff, you might want to check your inbox for a shipping notification. So that is why I decided to do Christmas in July and look like I had it planned all along when I didn't. So what you see here is a pillow that I did using a bunch of different trims to piece the fabrics together. and. So there's no quarter inch seam allowances on this entire pillow, even though it looks pieced. Sorry about that. My buttons are like not working right. I wonder if it's because I did that stream yard. So I'm going to switch to the correct camera and readjust the settings even though I already did this. All right. Here I thought it was going to be so smooth. So with a project like this, you can use a variety of different types of threads. You can use your regular polyesters and you can also use metallics. And you piece using scraps of fabric. You can also use your jelly rolls. What you want to always do is with this project is to make sure that you have the same width of piece for each one because mathematically then it ends up being a square. And you can make this pillow as large as you want by just continuing the log cabin style of piecing, but instead of using a seam allowance, as I said, we're gonna sew using trim. Generally, you don't really wanna lean against a, a hard pearl like that, so on the part where you would lean against it, I use flat trims. And you can use a wide variety of different types of, of materials. You don't have to just stick with your cottons. You could even use minky fabric if you have a little child in your that you want to make it for. You can see I've stabilized this fabric with a fusible permanent stabilizer to keep the color from showing through. Hi Janelle from Alabama. Oh yeah, but she's got humidity. I know what it's like to be in Alabama in the summer. Okay, so what I decided to do today was to first talk about the piping. And what I have here is a pillow that I prepared by folding over the fabrics to create this beautiful pillow inside of here that I did. And I will do a complete pillow class inside of the school as an offering for you. So you can see there is piping right here and I'll go ahead and switch to my close-up camera. Hopefully it is set right. Oops, see none of my buttons are right. That's not the close-up camera. I can't trust my buttons today. Nope. Interesting. Well, 
That's not good. Is that just because I went on StreamYard? Why isn't this camera working? Give you a cup of sore, excuse me, while I figure this out. Give you something more attractive to look at. Some of the Christmas projects that I enjoy making for you. I cannot believe this is happening right now. This camera's on. It's very strange. Well, I've never had going live on someone else's show make my regular show get all discombobulated. Let's just get this figured out. Hang in there, you guys. Appreciate your patience while I figure this out. Strange. Strange happenings here. work. I wonder if it'll let me add a camera. Let's see. Four, three, two, one. Oh, my goodness. Jeez Louise. Let me see if it doesn't work. goes the iron. Jeez, I'm so sorry you guys. Let me see if I can give you some music.
I got the camera working. I think it's like frozen now. Jeez, you guys, I feel so bad. Computers. What the heck is going on? This is so weird. <laughs> Come on, cameras. Behave. I may have to restart the program. This is so weird. I've never had it like do this before. This is the strangest. So my hand's in there. <laughs> so what I have here is piping already mounted. This is batting. I like to build my pillows with batting beneath them. It gives it makes your corners end up nice. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook user. If you click on the three dots at the top, I can't even get my front camera to show up right now, which is strange. It's like a conflict. So right now I have two cameras, but I don't have my front. See, that's my front camera. Hello. <laughs> In the dark here. Strange. Okay, so the close is definitely recognizing itself. So I think I may just take one more second to quickly change or restart the other camera. And those of you who know what's going on, if someone pops in and goes, what the heck's going on? This video is not exciting at all. <laughs> you can let them know what's going on. Technical difficulties, everybody. So sorry, you guys. Okay, I got all three cameras. As long as you can see my fingers move in here. This happened once before. It's like, come on. Why are you guys confused? And my button thing just decided it's not gonna work at all. didn't stick. So I got two cameras right now. I'm not going to make you wait anymore while I figure it out. We'll go ahead and I will do my best as that's all we can ever do when we have an issue like this. Is Ellen here? Hi Ellen. I'm so glad you feel up to being in here today and I wish I could uh, give you eye to eye communication, but my front cameras aren't working. So right now I'm going to alternate between my top camera, which is not working. So apparently this is so weird. Oh, 
my hands are in there, so it's close-up camera only right now. One of the things you have to do first is you have to make your piping if you haven't already made it or bought it purchased at the store. And when you put it in, where's the part that was open? <laughs> I know I have an area that was open so you could see. There it is. Here we go. And that is so close. So what I do when I lay my piping down is I clip it on the corners so that I can glue it down. This is That's all that's holding this is the liquid base basting glue so I don't have to pin it. And I'll go ahead and show you by gluing the back piece down. And at where the two ends of the piping meet, I actually feed the two ends into one another so that there isn't a fold over a crisscross that you have to deal with. I'm so glad you can hear, okay, Madeline. One good thing is I have a, my microphone is now officially above my head. I don't have to have it in front of me anymore. And I have no idea why the cameras all just decided to fail on me. We already, I already got ready today. Everything was good to go. And then it just, I don't know. And now that's, that's all you need to hold that in. And I'm going to set it aside using the pearls and piping foot, which allows you to sew even really large cording. And there are different types of piping available to you. This is not the piping that I recommend you get. As you see, it, it has kind of like ulcerations and it, and it, and it bumps out. And when that happens, it's going to, it's not going to suddenly disappear once you have it encased in fabric. When you have it encased in fabric, it will, it'll be bumpy just like that inside. And it's not as noticeable, but it is still lumpy and bumpy like that. <coughs> this is the cording that I recommend that you purchase. It's much more consistent. It is also, you can also get it in a significantly larger piece. I know that in the Creative Feed Extensive course, you're going to learn how to use pipings these big and this big and see how much bigger this is than my finger. And no sewing machine foot can sew that. The curls and piping foot can using a trick that I'll be showing you inside of the fabric or Creative Feed Extensive inside of Create with Claire Rowley my school so you can see that the foot itself when you when you're on top of cording this large doesn't actually sit on the sewing machine so some of you may just think you can't even use that but you can I thought there was a way to refresh my cameras wonder what would happen if I just turned off this program and turned it back on again without going off of streaming live. Looks like it wants to work. I just have to give it one more try. It's just so weird. What a day. Everything was perfect.
I, I have decided I'm going to shut the program off and I'm not going to end my, my live feed and then I'm going to turn it right back on and see if that doesn't fix it. So you guys know how it is when all of a sudden I go off and then I come back on again. So if you don't see me pop back in within five minutes, then, and if you're in Facebook, it's just, you should hop into my YouTube channel instead. But I can't function because I can't use all my cameras. My brain is not happy. I tried turning the cameras off and that wasn't enough. So it's got to be a program glitch. So I'll see you in no more than five minutes in my, and it may be a different link. So just hang on. If you're at you, if you're at my YouTube channel, then you will see me come back live again.